Matt Canning here, BodybuildingPro.com. We are here at the 2012 Mr. Olympia Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada. Here at the Mutant Booth, I am with Canadian champion bodybuilder Ron Partlow. Now, Ron, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your career. You were second place in the super heavyweight category at the Canadian Nationals in 2000, and again this year. So, I mean, you've had a long... It's almost like you're becoming, in a way, like a like a Matt Mendenhall, like a, like a Jeff King, like guys who were always so close. And uh, so how do you feel about that? Is that a, is that a source uh, point for you or is that a, just, you know, how it is? Well, you know, um, you, you got you to gotta win, you got to win the judges to win the show. Um, it just hasn't happened yet. You know, I got the class win in 07, which a lot of people don't remember because they just remember the seven seconds from 2000 to 2012. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, I'm really proud to have a national title and, uh, uh, you know, I do still believe I, I, I'm going to win the overall and, and turn pro. I just, um, you know, I'm always getting some first place votes from the judges. I'm just not getting enough of them. So, you know, I say to my friends, I'm like, sometimes you almost wish you'd rather just get your ass kicked and then you could just say you had a bad year. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm extremely consistent. I'm always in shape. I'm always, I've been top two eight times, um, top five at every single attempt. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm not ever having bad showings. I'm not ever uh, not not doing my homework. It's just uh, it's just a matter of nailing it and um, and who shows up. You know, there's years where if I'd have looked the same the following year, I might have won the show. But you know, like it's just uh, you know how it is. It's just who's there and how you look that day. And so you know that hasn't happened for me yet. But you know, this year I I thought I. Uh, presented the best package I'd ever put on stage at Nationals. I had judges tell me that, I had photographers tell me that, and I had uh, a lot of people that matter and whose opinions matter tell me they thought it was the best package I put together. So that means I'm still improving. And, uh, you know, if you're still improving, uh, then you're accomplishing, you know, that's what bodybuilding is all about, is try and get better, you know? Um, so, you know, it's, you know, obviously it, uh, there's that moment in the pit of your stomach when you get second for the seventh time. Um, but then also you just go, you know, it's not 15th, it's not 10th, it's not 5th. Uh, you're, still, you're still kicking a lot of ass and you're still representing your sponsors really well. And, and you're still knocking on the door. And So I, you know, I'm, I'm relentless. I love this. It's not like I'm getting tired of it. It's actually been more fun the last year than it has for a long time. So uh, you know, I, I'm just going to keep going. With, with a company like Mutant behind me, you know, I'm just picking up momentum now. Stuff's really starting to happen. And, you know, it might be a little a little bit later than it does for other guys as far as sponsors and stuff. But I don't care because I still love it. I make my living from bodybuilding. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have to go, you know, work in a, in, in a job I don't like to pay for my bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is my job, all my clients and everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm already making my living from the sport. And competing and doing well at nationals just keeps growing my business. So, you know, I still benefit immensely from a second place finish, even though it's not the pro card. So, uh, try not to get too fixated on that, you know. Well, tell me about 2003 if you want to take me back. Frank McGrath there competed as a very light, super heavyweight, right. just just two pounds into the category. Uh, had he uh, not, had he been a heavyweight, you would have had another class win. And uh, how how do you feel about him, suck, uh, actually not sucking down, but actually uh, the bigger in himself up, bringing himself up to the he super heavyweight class and competing alongside you and, and winning when you came second that year? Uh, you know, all I got to say about Frank is I think he's a great guy, and uh, I, I I I can't help but like Frank. I mean, he's just one of those guys. Uh, and I remember when I, I actually beat him in 2001, he, he didn't place too well, it was his first trip. And I actually said to him, I'm like, man, if you come ripped, you're going to be hard to beat. And then two years later, he showed up ripped and he, he was pretty hard to beat. So, um, you know, that's, that's happened a lot of times. You know, I've gotten second to some fantastic bodybuilders. I'm not getting beat by any chumps. You know, look at the list of names I'm second to. You got Frank McGrath, you got Ben Pikulski, you got Fuad Abiyad, you know, you know, these are these are and, and you got Antoine Vallant this year. I mean these are guys that they're they're all heavy hitters. Antoine's gonna be a heavy hitter. You give him a couple years. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not losing to guys that just go fade away, you know. Uh, you know I'm getting beat by guys that are that have gone to the friggin' Olympia and, and you know, look at Ben's here this year, you know, and Fuad's been here and Frank McGrath's been here. Yeah, you know, so you know, if these guys can win the show and they can wind up doing the Olympia, why you know, why can't I one day, you know? And 
Um, it actually motivates me. It doesn't discourage me at all. And I, I, I like all those guys. I respect all those guys, and I get along with all those guys. You know, uh, I don't just say hi when I see them. You know, we get, I get, you know, we give each other a, a bro hug and all that sort of stuff. So. Uh, it's a lot of respect, and I, I I I get along with everyone I compete with. So, you're in a super heavy, uh, super competitive class, super heavyweight. Does your height? I, I think in certain ways, a tall guy after so many years will look better. Does it hurt you sometimes, though? Well, I mean, you know, statistically, being over six feet is like a kind of a death knell for uh, trying to be a good bodybuilder. You know, if you just look at the numbers, but it can be done. Um, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, you got to be a bit of a freak to kind of pull it off uh, or, or just put in a whole lot of years like I'm doing. Um, but there's there's some really great bodybuilders that are over six feet. Uh, you know, I'm six foot half inch, so I'm barely over. Uh, it, you know, it takes maybe a little bit longer to fill out your limbs or whatever, but, you know, I'm not about making excuses. Uh, I'm willing to put in the time, you know. I, I don't care. I don't care how long it takes or whatever. I'm not, I don't, you know, I, I don't have a time limit. I, I don't have a... Uh, any reason why I have to worry about, you know, whether or not I could continue to do this for another year. I'm really healthy and I love it, so what the hell, you know. Um, you know, I just look at it this way. Sure, it might take longer to fill out a tall frame, but when you fill it out... Yeah, you, like Gunter and Tony Freeman. Yeah, even, you're even, I mean, those guys are elite, but, you know, even if you just fill it out and become a, a decent pro or you know, whatever, um, you, you, you have a super freak sort of... Uh, quality to you that maybe the shorter guys um, don't they have a different type of freak you know um, you know certain people really love the huge guys and you know if you know, I get my stage weight up I mean I was 262 this year I, on stage that's a big guy I mean yeah, mutant you're a mutant yeah I mean, you know I get my stage weight up to 270 275 you know maybe one day 280 on stage do not like who knows where it ends um, you know, you can get a ton of guest posings, you can make a ton of money, and a company like Mutant will just eat that up. I mean, I, I feel like Mutant's behind me. I don't, I don't feel like they have a time limit on me or anything like that. So I don't worry about it. So, Ron, you know, you, you mentioned Mutant a lot, so I know that you, well, you're in great shape now. I, I know when I've, I saw you before, you were always over 300, and you, you have the frame for it. Even then, you're not by any means fat. Yeah, yeah. But now you actually, at, uh, at 275, you're more like close to contest condition now. So I've never actually seen you like this all the other times. You must use some uh, some supplements, you know, it, it, some of the Mutant supplements in your arsenal. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, that's the thing about being with Mutant is I actually do use all their products. I mean, you know, we all hear stories about guys that are with certain companies, and they're trading the products for stuff they like. Um, I mean, we've all heard those stories where they're selling them at the gym and buying the stuff they want. But that's the thing. Uh, mutant products are made for guys like me. They're made for hardcore guys that want to look extreme. And uh, that's both off-season and contest. So, you know, I, you know that, that makes it super simple. You know, in the off-season, I'm using the Mutant Mass and the Mutant Way, the pre-workout, the Rage, and the Pump, and the post-workout Rehab. I mean, I use everything they send me. And uh, then when I died for a contest, I just don't use a mutant mass. I mean, it's really simple. I still use the rage. I still use the pump. I still use uh, all that stuff. And you know, the rehab I take out going off. I'm counting. You know, my carbs are getting pinched and stuff. But they're 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 all um, part of the arsenal. I mean, their their products are made for guys that want to be super mutants. And you know, that's that's why it's a perfect fit for me. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Well, you know, I've, I've tried them myself, and they're pretty good. And you know, a lot of good things about them. So guys, you know, I'm hoping that you win. When's your next show? Well, um, whenever they set the date for the Canadian Nationals in 2013, I'll be able to answer that question. And hopefully a first place this time. That'll be nice. Yeah, I only train to win. That's the only thing to, thing I do is I train to win. So, Well, guys, you heard it from Ron himself. Uh, I'll post all the information about I know Ron's on Facebook, so you know I'll, I'll, I'll get that information on the video so you can find him. So everybody, here we are, 2012 Mr. Olympia Expo, Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the Mutant Booth with Big Ron Partlow. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, Ron. You bet, man. Thank you.